In this video, we will describe MacroDroid variables and show a simple example of how they can be used. There are four standard types of variables. Boolean variables store either true or false and can be used to model a simple binary state, such as a light switch being on or off. Integer variables store a whole number, for example, as a counter of how many times a certain event happens. Decimal variables store a decimal number and are useful in calculations where the decimal part is important. String variables are used to store textual information. For example, you could save the text of an incoming SMS message into a string variable for later use. From the home screen tile, you can configure the list of global variables. A global variable is one that is accessible from any macro. From the macro edit screen, you can configure the list of local variables. A local variable is only accessible from that macro. In this example, we will use a variable to count and log how many calls we receive each day. First, we create a local integer variable, which will be used to store the number of calls. We add two triggers for this macro. The first trigger will fire when an incoming call is received, and the second trigger will fire every day at the end of the day. We add an if clause action with trigger fired condition. The first part of the if clause will run when we are invoked by the incoming call trigger, and the else clause will run when it's the daytime trigger. We add an action to increment the call count variable each time the incoming call trigger fires. We add actions to log the number of calls for this day and reset the call count variable to zero, ready to count the next day's calls. When we test the incoming call trigger, the local variable can be seen to increase. When we test the daytime trigger, the value resets to zero, and we will see an entry in the user log. 